All right, guys, welcome back to another episode on the channel. And today we have got some information on the Jiratri Master Research Wish Granted. Now, um, if you did buy this um, basically limited research for £5 during the Hoenn event, you will have noticed that you have to catch 385 of Pokemon in the Johto, Kanto, and Hoenn region. Um, and also get the Hoenn medal, which is catch every Pokemon in Hoenn. So hopefully you did get that during the Hoenn event, otherwise you are in a little bit of a bind trying to catch it all. But anyway, let's get to the page that I need to be doing it. So this one here. So what we currently have in front of us is the Masterwork Research Steps 1, 2, and the third one has just come out, even though... It's a bit early, not many people would have completed it by now, but let's just go through it anyway. So, like I said, there is catch 385 Pokemon originally in the Kanto region, Johto region, Hoenn region, and then get the gold medal for Hoenn. Now, one second. As you can see on screen, the Hoenn gold medal is 90 Pokemon. Out of the possible 135, I am one Pokemon off. I don't know what that is. We will have a look at the end. I feel like it's going to be something stupid. Um, oh, it might actually be Ninjas, because I don't think I've actually got one of them. But anyway, we'll get to that in a minute. So, from... Basically, from doing this, you will get 10 Kyogre Candy, 10 Groudon Candy, and 10 Rayquaza Candy. Um... Basically, if you do this, you will get into the next step, which is the one below, which is what we are going to talk about today. So, have 10 best buddies. Now, I personally haven't used any of the buddy system features because I didn't really get it. Obviously, you get hearts and stuff from, you know, playing with your Pokemon, feeding it, that kind of thing. However, I didn't really get how to do it fast enough to finish things like this research off and then you've got earn a buddy earn a heart with your buddy 20 days in a row and you get a poffin now with poffins it does make it a lot easier to do to get this done however if you are to try and to get 10 best buddies from this with zero like myself you're it's going to take 50 days if you are just going to get the easy hearts for your buddy which is three battles um, play with your Pokemon once, feed the Pokemon once, and then snapshot. Six easy hearts, times 50 days, basically, will get you 10 best buddies on 10 Pokemon. You can do 20 swaps during the day, um, so it is relatively easy, and you can do it for free if you're willing to invest the time. Now, speaking of time, we will go over this, how to do this, quickly... In a second and I will time myself um, and we'll see how long it took me to do one Pokemon and trying to do 10 slash 20 a day so let's get on to that give me two seconds and we are back so as you can see I have a buddy here with no levels on it um, hasn't had one heart on it and hasn't done anything with it today so I'm gonna set the timer in three two one okay so let's see how long this would take to do everything on one pokemon so let's do the play one first and um, you'll know when this one's done as you'll get the light up like this that's one heart and um, then let's just throw a few berries basically you want this to be up to the full circle that will get you your first heart. Now you won't, unless you use a Poffin, you won't be able to get this up to maxed hearts. Um, as you won't be able to keep swapping and changing that kind of thing. That's another heart. Then that should be another heart as well. Okay, so there you go. We've got three hearts with our Garchomp here. Um, let's do the battles and I'll be back in a second. So, the quick and easy way to do battles is to go into the battle section and go down to training, pick one of the uh, 
gym leaders to do. Pick the Pokemon you want to do. So I'm going to be doing Garchomp. Hit done. Use whatever other two Pokemon you want in the party. Doesn't matter. Because as soon as you've done this, you are going to want to attack once and then surrender. This counts as a basically a heart for your buddy whether you win, surrender, lose. So there's no point in carrying on. You may as well just do this. Put the Pokemon in. Just so you get the battle with it and surrender. Come back out. Go again. You need to do three battles with your Pokemon. So let's just um, get this done. Let's surrender. I didn't attack that time. It should still work. I usually attack just to make sure. And um, try and quick the process up. One more Candela. There you go, Garchomp's already in it, but we'll just make sure. You don't want to be using the wrong Pokemon, then only getting two. So, here we go. So then, we can surrender. So this, this is our sixth heart with our Pokemon. So that took two minutes, 45 seconds. Give me two seconds. And we're back, and as you can see, we have take a screen, uh, snapshot, play together, give your buddy a treat, and three battles together. Now, they are the six easy hearts, and as you saw there, it took me two minutes and 45 seconds. Sorry that there's a few cuts, it's just to basically not show my location where I am. Um, privacy reasons, that kind of thing. Um, but they're the six easy hearts you can get. Now, if you do do a lot of walking for work... Or you just go walking out. Definitely make sure you have your buddy on the map with you. So it does walk together. If you're walking together, perfect. You'll get more hearts and it should be an easier um, thing to complete. However, we are looking at 64 more hearts before we even get to level 2. So if you think about it, that's 11 days without walking. To get 300 hearts, you're looking at 50. Now... It won't take you long, but if you're doing this 20 times, you're looking at a good 50 minutes, 55 minutes of constant play to get them hearts. And that's nearly an hour. So I'd recommend just doing 10 to start off with just to get this done. You do not need to do 10 best buddies once that research is hatched. It's 10 buddies in total, just like the get gold Hoenn medal. It's, if you've already done it, it autom automatically completes for you. Um, but after what I've seen today is probably the quickest way of getting that done. Obviously, with a f because I've done a few quits here and there, you could probably put it down to about 2 minutes 30, if I'm honest. Um, but it does... It will help in the long run as well, especially if you're doing the Pokemon like the Primal Kyogres, you know, your Mewtwo's that are going to have a Mega Soon, your Rayquazas. You, if you have your Pokemon with a best buddy, you do get the advantages of being best buddies. And as you can see on the screen, it's a CP boost, which is insane. It's like a 300 CP boost on some Pokemon, which is really helpful in certain situations, especially if you're taking down Giovanni. Um, and then you also get the best buddy ribbon. I believe the highest person has about 900, I think it is now. Which is insane because the platinum medal is 200. And that's going to take, what, if you did this every day, 50 days. You're, you're looking at a good, <laughs> to get 100, you're looking at nearly a year. So these this person's got 900. As soon as this buddy system came out, they've been grinding daily. So, anyway, that's where I'm going to leave this episode. I just wanted to go over the buddy system, quick ways of doing so, and also what you need to do to in step two of the masterwork. So if you're not there yet, you can start grinding this because it will take a long time. And best start sooner rather than later to be able to catch your Jirachi because... If you like me, I thought it was going to be a lot easier. You did pay for this research. So I thought it was going to be a lot easier than what it is. Um, just before we go, I have one last thing to go over. And that is the third step, which has just been released about an hour ago. It is catch five Kecleons. Easy to do. 
if you're in a major city, if you're not, a bit harder. And then spin a post up 14 days in a row, which is also very easy to do. So, looks like steps one to three will take you a minimum. If you're doing it minimally, like I will be doing, I'm not going to be using puffins every day. You're looking at a good 70 days. That's without catching the Pokemon 385. Which is insane. Because it's going to take you till summer, which is nearly near enough go fest to get this done. So, leave your thoughts on this in the comments below because I'm a bit unsure why they did this in this certain way. But, then again, what's the point of playing the game if, if it's not going to have a few tough challenges as well? So thank you all for watching, please leave a like, comment, subscribe and I'll speak to you all in the next one.